Hey there guys and gals and welcome back to another tutorial on how to get your Elgato to record your audio chat with um, Skype and Hearse or any other voice audio um, application that you have that you talk to your chat friends and uh, your game your game audio as well. So to get started what you're going to need is you're going to need the game capture HD, the sound capture, you're going to need a, a game, VLC media player, and Audacity if you guys would like to audio uh, edit your audio for the Elgato and your uh, chat. So basically what you're going to need is you're going to go ahead and open up uh, uh, your Game Capture HD device, which is this. It's going to look like this, uh, probably a little bit different depending on what version you guys have. Go ahead and go to the Elgato and update the uh, to the new version, the updated version, the 3.1 something. Um, and then go ahead and go to this settings tab and disable the flashback recording. Make sure the enable stream command is checked, then click OK. Now, um, along with the download, you got something called Sound Capture. You're going to go ahead and open that up and uh, make sure that you have your microphone set to your default microphone, whatever you want to set it to. For me, it's the Razer Cranket 7.1, which is my headset, and that when I'm talking to people, I want to hear them through my headset as well. So I'm going to go ahead and select the headphone, uh, the headset, earphone, Razer Cranket 7.1, because that's what I use. Now, for my chat, I use... Curse Voice, which is exactly like Skype, except for it's more compatible for gaming. Like, let's say if I was playing Warframe, Curse will let my other friends know that, hey, I am playing Warframe, you know, either you can come join me, come in a call with me, start a call, and, uh, yeah. So, um, obviously, since I have Warframe up, you're gonna see that, uh, I am playing, currently playing Warframe, because it's right here in the description, uh, on my taskbar. And, um, uh, so, what you're gonna need to do is you're going to go ahead and select Team Chat, go to your Settings tab, go to Audio for either Skype, it's the same way. Go ahead and select your uh, microphone as your default and your speakers and headphones as the Speaker Elgato Sound Capture. Now, and to indicate that this is working, we're going to go ahead and slide this down. We're going to see that the volume bars for your Sound Capture window is right here, and that your volume bars for the Elgato sound cap wow, bars, sorry, for um, your Elgato is right here. Also, you're going to want to make sure that your capture team chat is checked. Um, to go ahead and go to uh, your uh, play test sound, you're going to see that in both bars, wow, I scooted that a little too far up, right there is fine, uh, you're going to see in both bars that the volume is going to spike up and it's going to play your um, audio for the test sound. So let's go ahead and click that. And as you can tell, it automatically um, picked up in both because this is checked. Now, this here is the audio that you hear through your headset. This is here um, is the audio that the Elgato hears. So you can uh, turn this down and turn that up and turn this down and turn that up if they're too loud for you. I like to keep the... Uh, Elgato at 100% because of the fact that I edit my stuff through Audacity and Sony Vegas Pro 13. So I leave that at 100% because of the fact that I can mess with the audio there and clean up the audio files. So um, with that being said, um, the flashback recording, the reason why I told you to turn it off is because of the fact that when you have the flashback recording set on, um, your computer is doing its best to try and record what you're doing try to remember exactly what you recorded before you hit that record button and it's still expanding that memory even when you uh you know have it recording now if you obviously if you stop recording that timer is going to go back to zero and then the flashback recording is going to be enabled again now the reason why i told you to leave the stream command on is because of the fact that you have your camera overlays and whatever overlays you have on your um your game capture that is being displayed for me i have the preview disabled because of the fact that it's another thing that um, that eats up your GPU. So I always have this off um, to make sure it's right. Obviously, I will quickly enable the preview. And then before I record, I go ahead and select it off because of the fact that I've got everything set up for me. My green screen's back there. You guys can see it. Uh, well, no, you can't. <laughs> I can see it, but you guys can't. That's the point. And then um, everything else is fine and dandy. Now, I had, I don't know if I have them now. Um, I had a few, uh, recording items right here. I don't have them because of the fact that I just deleted them. I don't know why, but in order to do everything that you want to do, go ahead and right click. If you have a small preview and you use audacity to clean up your audio, this is what you're going to do. You're going to go ahead and right click and you're going to go ahead and, um, save, 
sound audio only. And then that's going to leave a file that's going to be on your desktop or wherever you leave it to. It's For me, it's videos. And then I go ahead and transfer it over to um, my desktop. That way it's easy to be found because I'm getting ready to edit it and throw it away in the trash. So after that, um, you can do the same thing with your game file. And then after that, you can do the same thing with your uh, whole video with your camera and overlays. I mean, obviously it's going to process, but for me, it's... For me, I do it individually because it's a lot faster. So let's go ahead and open up VLC Media Player, and um, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to Media, and then I'm going to go to Convert and Save, Add, and then um, I had something here earlier. It's not there. It is in Video Output. For some reason, I put my stuff in here. Now this is the voice thing that I was talking about. You're going to go ahead and open that up in the VLC media player and then you're going to go ahead and to convert and save and then save it as an audio mp3 now the reason why is because of the fact that um you're also going to save it somewhere else for me it's going to be on the desktop so I'm going to go ahead and save that to the desktop and then type whatever whatever <laughs> and then save it and then after that you click start it's going to go ahead and uh, convert that into an mp3 player or mp3 file sorry then after that, you should be able to open that up with Audacity. Now, if you were to use your regular file that you grabbed from the Elgato and saved it, you won't be able to open it up because of the fact that it's not the right format. Then Audacity does Audacity does not know what the hell you're messing with. So after this is done converting, which is going to be another couple seconds, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate everything that I'm talking about. So another thing that you're going to want to have um, for your game as well while that's converting, I'm going to go ahead and show you. Um, for your game to be able to pick up in game audio, you're going to go ahead and open up your game, which you guys are going to hear, by the way, because I already have my preset already standard for it. So I'm going to go ahead and go to options in your game. Go to audio options. Sorry. Now you guys hear the game. I'm going to go to audio options in the game, and I'm going to go ahead and switch it to the Elgato Intel R display audio. Now the reason why I say that is because of the fact that the Elgato now strictly hears that, and you and your friends now that you have um uh for me since i have curse set up to the uh elgato speakers i also have um the elgato picking up the game audio for um warframe so to indicate that warframe is actually being picked up we're gonna go ahead and open up uh possibly i think i just froze my uh yeah see as you can tell the uh game audio spiked up because of the fact that you can actually see that um it hears the game. I'm pretty sure I just crashed my game. But whatever. It's not important anymore. So. Sorry. Yeah. I ended up crashing everything. So going right back to what I was saying. As you can tell that when I opened up Warframe. Um, the game audio did pick up. However. Um, the reason why it did crash is because of the fact that I just tried converting a file with VLC Media Player. While I was recording. While the game is going. And while everything else is still running. Um, so, uh, what you do is you just open up this with Audacity, the file, and then you edit it the way you want it to, and then put it into, uh, uh, Vegas Pro 13, or whatever, uh, whatever video file that you were editing. So, with all that being due, and all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'm sorry that it's been choppy and messed up, um, but I am doing my best with what I have. Um, so, just to recap... Um, make sure that you have the Elgato sound capture and the Elgato game capture. What you're going to do is open the game capture first and then the sound. Make sure that you have team chat selected. Make sure that you have this selected. And um, what this does, it, it automatically sets up your uh, drivers and it doesn't mess with anything. Um, it doesn't mess with anything else. It just automatically defaults your drivers to whatever it needs to be set as. And then the only thing you really need to set is your uh, audio for your um, voice chat um, application, such as Skype, Curse, or anything else. And make sure that your device is set to speaker Elgato sound capture. Make sure that you play at your device. Make sure that both the sound capture and the Elgato hear it. And then make sure that everything else is good. Your game audio, make sure that's set to the Elgato Intel R audio device. And then you should be good to go. Um, unfortunately, with this tutorial, you cannot be able to hear your game audio. Because of the fact that um, 
there is no such driver as the in Elgato Intel R audio driver or audio device. You can't listen to it, only the Elgato can. Now, if you guys have something else in mind that you guys can be able to use, like voice meter, and you find a um, a preference and a setting that works, feel free to leave your uh, video link into the description below, or no, sorry, the comment section below, sorry. <laughs> and uh, let me know how you guys did it. Um, this is how I did it. This is David Gray, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and GG, man.